hello everyone today i am going to show that how you can create architectural style and buildings of the architect daniel libiskin in revit the purpose of this tutorial is to show that how you can is to show you a process through which you can learn to create a constructive type of architecture easily in revit using the messing technique but before we start let me ask you to like and share my videos leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and also if you have any kind of difficulty related to revit you can ask me anytime so now let's start open a new architectural template file in revit then go to the south elevation and here I am going to set the level 2 at 25 feet 0 inches. Then move to level 1 floor plan and in the messing and site tab click on end place mask close ok and then insert and here i'm going to insert an image this is basically the uh, site plan of a house designed by daniel libiskin which is 1836-54 this is its top view which i have downloaded from the internet this is basically the image and here i'm going to set the scale of this building according to the scale provided in the image After setting the scale, select the reference plane, the short, uh, the short key for which is RP, and then uh, I set one first point here and the second point here. So this should be the length of the reference plane which should you should place in this floor plan. So as you can see in this image, this uh, wall this sort of elevation has four points so uh, then go to the east elevation because it is facing towards the east that reference plane then set the reference plane to one which you have just drawn in the floor plan then click on show then select the model line make sure 3d snapping is checked and you should select draw on work plane to draw on the uh, reference plane drawn in level one then draw the elevation which consists of four points because that elevation this elevation contains four points in as i've uh, shown you in the 3d image now select this image and then go to level two and paste it copy and paste it at the exact same position now go to 3d and here select the second point go to the east elevation you can see that it is what i have drawn uh, selected and then in the level 2 floor plan with the help of these arrows move this point to meet this corner then select this third point you can see that how it is moving in the elevation in the south elevation and then again move this point in the level 2 floor plan with the help of these two arrows to reach uh, so that it is at its point i have not uh, I, I didn't found the elevation of this house otherwise i would have placed a elevation in this south or east elevation so that i can place the points in the in the in their correct position in the elevation phase as well now delete that re previous reference plane and place an other reference plane like this so that its starting and ending point is at the first and the last corner assign a name to this reference plane i have named it one then set the reference plane to one make sure show is on and select the model line make sure 3d snapping is checked and draw on work plane is selected and again draw its elevation 
Freud's profile which also consists of four points then select the second point move it to its position then select the third point go to 3ds over the elevation select this third point then go to level 2 floor plan and move it till it reach its position now again select and delete this reference plane go to 3d then select uh, both of these lines use control button on the keyboard for multiple selection and then click on create form so now uh, one part of the house is complete it looks like this so using this technique you can create any type of um, any type of building or architectural style of uh, and the walls and the floor and the walls and the roof can have any type of angle now in the level two floor plan i'm going to create an other the other part of the building for that i have placed this reference plane like this assign a name to it go to the east elevation set the reference plane to one and then we're using this model line draw the elevation for that as well repeat the exact same process in which you have to select the second point move it to its position then you have to select the third point and in the level to floor plan again you have to move it with the help of its arrows now repeat this step on this other end of the part as well again select both of these lines and click on create form and uh, other part has been created now go to level to floor plan and draw the third component of this house for that i have placed this reference plane like this assign a name to it and for this reference plane i am going to work in the south elevation go to the south elevation and here set the graphic display to wireframe then set the reference plane to one click on show so that uh, that reference plane is visible and with the help of model line place four points which is the elevation of that component the profile of that component and draw it like this again select and move the second and third point of this profile with the help of these arrows in the level 2 floor plan you can see that this third component has a cut in its uh, plan as well so 
draw place a reference pen in that cut assign a name to it then go to south elevation and draw a profile for that part as well the previous two components does not have a cut within it uh, within its uh, plan so i have used only uh, three profiles to create the form but for this third component i'm going to create three profiles to create the form Go to 3D and here when you select all three of these uh, lines, as click on create form, it will create an arc which I don't need. So select these two lines, then click on create form and then uh, select these three lines. Use a control button in, on the keyboard for multiple selection, then click on this one and then again click on create form. So now that curve is not created and an angled wall is placed here. Now here I'm going to create the last component of this building. For that place a reference plane in the level to floor plan like this, assign a name to it and if you can see this component it has three points one two and three so to create this component i'm going to uh, i'm going to place three comp uh, three comp uh, three points in the profile so the messing phase for this building is complete and it looks like this now we need to place walls on it for that exit the messing mode by clicking on finish mess then in the messing and side tab select the wall by face command and one by one select all of these surfaces to place walls on them
After placing the walls, use the join command in the modify tab to join uh, those walls uh, which overlap with each other. So that's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any kind of difficulty or query related to Revit, you can ask me anytime. I will meet you guys in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take care. And most importantly, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.